Well, no balls or clubs needed in this game. Disc no. golf puts a spin on the traditional mm -hmm. game of golf. Yeah, Mary Jo is out at uh, Capital Springs with a look at uh, one of Madison's newest disc golf mm -hmm. courses. Good morning. Yeah, Rob and Charlotte, it's been a lot of fun so far and a lot to learn so with uh, disc golf since it is like traditional ball golf, as Larry asked here. Says, and Larry, you've designed the course that we're actually on now and it's mm -hmm. brand new. Mm -hmm. Can you describe a little bit about the basics regarding disc golf? Uh, the basics, all you need is a couple discs and uh, a bag to maybe carry them in and you just uh, walk around and it's just like ball golf. You throw mm -hmm. a drive, you do a approach putt mm -hmm. and if you make your putt, you know, then you hole out, get a birdie or whatever. But it's basically the same as disc golf, but you're throwing into a basket. Mm -hmm. And then these ones are kind of similar to ball golf where there's different yes. purposes, right? Yes, so. this is a driver, it's got a skinnier edge. This is okay. a putter, has a wider edge. And this is more of a mid-range where it's a little bit domier. Mm -hmm. So it might not go as far as your driver. So it all depends how far you're out. And it's an 18-hole course here at Capitol Springs over at Viara. Uh It's 27. 27, yes. And what makes it different than ball golf? Um, Disc golf, you could play 18 holes in about an hour and a half, two hours. Mm -hmm. Ball golf is going to take a little longer. Um, for a season pass here, it's $48. Indeed. You might spend that on one round in ball golf, but uh, mm -hmm. it's just a lot quicker game and a shorter game. Okay, and I think Ron James is also here this yep. morning. He's also with the course. He's going to show us a couple of tricks. I'll do a lot of tricks. Right? I'll throw a couple of, a couple of shots here. To throw a couple, so... So Larry, what makes this a great sport for anyone, really? Well, you can bring your kid out here. I've seen a lot of people with uh, strollers and they push their kids around, but it's just a walk in the park, what we call it. And uh, oh, look at that. That one it's just a, so it's just a fun way. And out here, there's a lot of nature, so you can see some turkeys and deer mm -hmm. and cranes and stuff like that. And you're saying you've even seen moms with their strollers going from one to the other? Yep. Because... Oh yeah, so there are going to be future golfers down the road. And uh, so that's really good. Yeah. Okay. So you want to try and get it in the basket is the main. This goal. is the main goal. Right. Yes. Thank you so much, Larry and Ron, for showing us off. And you can try your own hand at disc golf right here at Capitol Springs on the south side of Madison. And I think I want to say it's forty-eight dollars for a yearly permit, which you'll need, or it's eight dollars for a daily one. So, Robin Charlotte, I'm challenging you to come on out and. Give it a shot. Well, we've got our disc right here. Got, we got, we Yo, got, you we wait. Got stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, there is a. It doesn't matter how old you are, mm. disc golf can be described as a lifetime sport. Now, learning about this, I got a driver which is heavier than your than your my putter. Than your putter. Well, mm -hmm. you've got a whole stack of them there. So ex explain all these discs. Rob and Charlotte, yeah, we had mentioned right before the break that there are several types of discs here, just like there are in golf when with their clubs is that right and uh, Ron James is a Capital Springs course pro with us this morning to start from scratch and show us the basics so what do we okay begin with? well what what we're gonna do is I'm gonna explain a few throws here um, and and you're going to follow me uh, okay. the first throw I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a backhand throw and what you want to do is you want to place your shoulder at the target which is the basket there mm -hmm. then you want to just have a smooth release towards the basket so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go out and just a smooth release. And what, does it matter what, ta what, di what disc I use? You want to use that yellow one. So this is the mid-range? That's a mid-range, correct. Okay, so just loose. There you go. Yeah, that's now right. the, the next throw we're going to use is we're going to use a, we're going to do a forehand. And a forehand is, is, is throwing like this. And you can either have two fingers Fingers. under the rim, which is you want to have it up next to the edge or one finger depending on, on what your preference is. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to just throw it nice and gently at your target. So the, this metal basket. Yep. And you want to get it in the basket, right? That's correct. <gasps> that was a nice, <laughs> that was a pretty <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was, that was good. That okay. was good. Now the next okay. thing we're going to do is we're going to try a roller. Um, uh, Capital Springs out here is very conducive to rolling. So mm -hmm. there's two different types of roll. There's a backhand roller that you grip like this and you just put the disc down like this. We're going to try a forehand okay. roller. 
which is you're going to hold it just like with you did that yeah, with the two fingers. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to want to put it down on an angle and let it roll. Oh, that looks fancy. Just go? Go. Yep. Okay. Well, that was okay. That, that was okay. <laughs> now the last okay. thing we're going to do is we're going to have a putter. A putter is most like a regular Frisbee. Mm -hmm. um, it, it has a lot of the same characteristics, but like all the, the, the disc golf discs, uh, when you when you throw backhand this way, the do, the the golf disc is going to want going to want to come out of your hand like this. It wants to hit the ground as quick as possible. Okay. So your goal is to try to throw this as flat as possible for as long as possible. Okay. So we're going to try some putts now. Okay. It's about a 60 footer here. All right. I'll step back. Oh, so close! Oh, I almost got the cameraman. Okay. <laughs> I'll I'll try not to aim for you, Mike. So just go. Yep. Oh, I'll redo that one after the break, but thanks so much, Ron. And then we were talking about how people have different styles. Larry throws forehand. He's primarily a forehander. He'll yes. show us how, how he does that just now. But real quick, Ron, uh, let me ask you, uh, what do people know when they begin? What was your experience like when you first started? Uh, when I first started playing, I remember the first time I went out, I thought, you know what, hey, I'm really good with a Frisbee. I, I know how to throw a Frisbee. Mm -hmm. I went out and I threw a disc mm -hmm. like a Frisbee, mm -hmm. and it came out of my hand. Like I said, I'm throwing backhand, I'm going and, and um, I'm throwing it out, and it goes maybe about 80 feet out and then falls very hard to the left. But since the left. then, you've gotten a lot better with practice, looks practice, like. But practice, practice, practice. Well, um, thank you so much, Ron. And it looks like you're doing real great. Thank you, Larry, for being with us. You can test out your disc golf skills right here at Capital Springs, the south end of town here. And Robin Charlotte, it's nice out today. So yeah, it is. if you feel like playing. All right, we're ready with our cool. discs. All right, Mary Jo, thank you. Yeah.